Jason here, Blood Church, coming to you today. God bless each and every one of you. You're going to do a video today. I hope you find it to be a blessing. I'm going to talk out loud about the end times, about the rapture, where we are, how close we might be with the times that we're in. And it's not a guarantee that the rapture is this year or right around the corner, but I think things are le leaning more in that direction that we're closer rather than further away, although we could be a couple years away. Not to um, bring bring your spirits down, but there's always a chance of that. You need to be prepared as a Christian for the fact that could be the case. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, thumbs up. We're a group of Bible-believing Christians rightly dividing uh, the Word of Truth. 2 Timothy 2.15, we, we count on the Bible. And if you uh, we get saved by the blood of Jesus Christ in this church age, Jesus Christ, the Messiah, God himself in flesh form, came down, walked a perfect life, never sinned, laid down glory, died on a cross in Calvary, 1 Corinthians 15, verses 3 and 4, tells us clearly in the Bible that he died, he buried, and he rose from the dead. So why did he die that way? Well, the blood shed washes away your past, present, future sins all for, for all time and, and makes you, if you believe on that with your heart, Romans 10, 9 and 10, and confess with your mouth that he is God and he died for you and you believe in that, then you are eternally secure forever. Ephesians 2, 8 and 9 says, Not a work, plus any man could boast. And it's a free gift. Accept that today. End times news. So we certainly know Russia has annexed parts of Ukraine and has challenged the West and has told those that listen that the West have no right to challenge that. Now, Ukraine is trying to speed up NATO admittance. And this, of course, would, would, would pit further NATO versus Russia in World War III. Biden has, uh, from the United States, come out and used sanctions, which, you know, really, for the most part, don't work. But it's a political stage to say you're doing something. The um, pipeline burst, of course, is sort of maybe a bigger news. Uh, and and the, Russia has blamed the West for that. It's, it's interesting to see the blame being put there. And it could be the case to think about the economy of Russia is really highly on its energy supply and Europe is one of its major customers. Of course, we know Israel is 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 always in the news. They are, they are always on, on the defense and on the offensive to protect itself. And it'll be interesting to see if they move closer to the two-state resolution or, or agreement that they think that they're going to to adopt. And if that happens, I think then, we're, then that would mean we're really close for the Antichrist to come in to make the adjustment to it and kick off that tribulation. Of course, we're waiting. There's The rapture is imminent. There's nothing left to do for it, and we're just waiting for for the rapture to happen. Could that, could that take a while? Could things slow down? Yes. I mean, things could, could bog down. God could do anything. But it also could be very quickly. As I said in my last video, Feast of Trumpets could be in October, um, not in not in September. They could be a month off as well as there's, there's people that have the thought process that if we're in a Jubilee year, then really Feast of Trumpets is on atonement, which would be in early October. So there is a chance from 5th, 6th, if that's the case, I'm not saying it is, that if it is a Jubilee year, then it would push back what would be the, the feast, the, really when the true Feast of Trumpets would be, even if the Jewish calendar was correct. So just something to think about. God's in control. We just keep looking up. We look forward to our blessed hope, Titus 2.13, the soon return of the King, and, and how glorious it will be to be in the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ. And he's our first love, and it would be great to be in in his presence with a big hug and serving him and loving him forever as we spend eternity with our Lord and Savior. God bless each and every one of you. Leave comments below if you have prayer requests in these end times. Uh, we certainly would like to, to give them for you. Uh, to, so this use this as the prayer video for the week. And again, announce, um, it, maybe pray for those that, that that is not yourself, maybe friends, relatives. Obviously, we all pray for the lost, so that's a good one. And we pray for people giving the gospel, the message, and for the saints. God bless and have a great, great day.